Hello, uh, welcome to the uh, GoobyD's Tactical Battle System, that is GTBS, uh, import uh, to your project uh, tutorial. This tutorial is going to walk you through how to import the GTBS system from your RMVX project uh, into your RV, uh, RMVX project. So let me go ahead and just get started here. Uh, the fastest and easiest method to importing this into your project is going to be to copy your script's uh, RV data file. So uh, what you're going to do is go ahead and first off create your project so that you've got something to import it into. If you have already got a project um, and you've already imported some custom scripts to it, um, you will probably want to just open up the project and then copy them from this side over to here um, in the uh, materials section. Um, if you have not yet imported anything, as you saw me just create the project, uh, what you'll want to do is uh, open up the game folder and uh, go to the data directory and find the scripts.rv data folder. You're going to repeat that on your alternate project here. And what you're going to do is just go ahead and paste that into the other project, choosing yes to overwrite the existing data file. You're going to go ahead and uh, close and then reopen that project. And then when you reopen it, we can just double check and verify that uh, all of those uh, project files and so on have been imported. So uh, now that we've got that, the next part of the import is actually to copy over the graphics folders. So again, go ahead and uh, open up the game folder and then paste in the graphics folder from the demo and just answer yes to all. And uh, that will go ahead and import all the uh, required graphics. Now, um, the normal defaults uh, for the uh, the database. There's a couple of things you need to uh, make sure that you do. Um, first off is to go ahead and make sure that you increase the maximum number of elements to 23 just because those are the ones that are used in the demo. Um, we've I've actually put some stuff in there to prevent the errors from occurring but in the same instance it is a good idea to go ahead and add those. Um, you'll have to look at uh, the uh, base demo to give you an idea of what those uh, new elements are. So aside from that, uh, there's a number of new states I've also added into the system. You'll want to make sure that you go ahead and get those added in as well. You possibly could encounter some errors if they are not added in as well. Um, so go ahead and get all of those all added into the project. And uh, after that, go ahead and start up your project. And when you start up your project, you should be able to just pop right in there and go. Okay. Now. Uh, to go ahead and uh, make a quick mock battle so that we can go ahead and test this. So I'm just going to go ahead in and fill in an area here. And then we're going to create two events, actor one and, act, or I'm sorry, enemy one. Uh, this one here is also going to uh, uh, launch our battle for us. So I'm just going to set a graphic and set battle processing for the slime on that. And then we'll just go ahead and launch the battle. And just go and test this out. So we just open it up. So if you have any other questions or anything, uh, please feel free to go ahead and post those on the online forums and uh, we'll get back to you. Goodbye.